Hey guys, my name is Liz and welcome to my channel. It's been about a year since I last posted a video. Um, for just random reasons, I could list them all. Um, but I kind of just put YouTubing on the back burner, focused really a lot on my Instagram blog. But I decided to break out the camera and really get back into posting because I am having a baby and I think that I've just had a, a couple of experiences that I should share because so much can happen even when you're not expecting it. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys the story of how I found out that I was pregnant. And it is not your typical pee on a pregnancy test surprise the boyfriend when he gets off and then tell everybody it was real weird so sit back and relax and enjoy this story of chaos i just call it chaos so let's start the story in the beginning of october i had just found out that i had been accepted to a veta institute and i would be attending this a semester that started in June of 2019. Um, I could have gone in February, but we decided to push it back so that I would be able to pay for it, save the money to pay for it out of pocket to avoid taking out any loans. And then October 9th, I started my period. Oh my god, <laughs> this video will be a lot of information that like maybe some people don't want to know. So if you are like really weird about that kind of stuff just this is not the video for you so just don't watch it however i am nosy and if somebody else is making this video i would love to watch it so if you're like me keep watching so october 9th i started my period i know that in my head i remember because i had a, a doctor's appointment that day an ob appointment and we go there for just just a checkup and I kind of bring up to her that I've been having a little bit of pain during sex and just a lot of intense pain during my period, like debilitating pain, nausea, going home early from work, and being crippled in bed for at least two days. She kind of brought up maybe that I had endometriosis. So I was a little nervous because endometriosis, if you don't know, it's where you're uterus forms um, extra membranes and webbing in your uterus. So when you have your period, you're not just shedding the wall, you're shedding the wall, the webbing, so much extra stuff. And that obviously makes it a lot, a lot more painful than normal. And then set, that makes sex painful, it makes it hard to conceive children. Um, so I was a little nervous, but I wasn't too worried about it. Um, I'm pretty young, so I just kind of thought that we could figure it out. And in the meantime, until we figured out kind of what was going on with my body, we were going to not change my birth control, but we were going to alter it a little bit. I was on the NuvaRing, and the way that the NuvaRing works is you leave it in for three weeks and then you take it out for a week. However, the way that we decided to do it, because I was having so much pain is that we were going to leave it in for three months and then take it out for a week and then put it back in for another three months just to kind of avoid having a period at all. So I left my appointment on October 9th, totally feeling cool, other than the fact that I was like on my period and really uncomfortable. Maybe like a week after my period, I felt real funny. My periods are never late my hormone cycle i can tell time by it um i'm like clockwork my body is like a perfect clock around the time that i'm normally ovulating i kind of like felt funny and i didn't really know how to describe it it was like normal ovulation symptoms but just like a little odd and i didn't think anything of it um Everything was normal, however, like I didn't have a fever. 
Um, I wasn't changing any of my medicines. I thought it was because I had started a second job and I was unable to fill my prescription for my birth control. So I had, did not have the ring in at the end of October um, because after my period on October 9th, I didn't have one to put back in. So I thought maybe it was just a hormonal imbalance because my ring wasn't in. Um, but Keith and I proceeded business as usual. Here's where it gets a little sticky. So the end of October, I'm just in shambles. I can't eat anything. Nothing sounds good. I'm throwing up literally everything. This is literally three weeks after my period. I hadn't even missed my other one yet. I wasn't even late. Feeling a little odd. Um, just really sick and tired, exhausted. However, I chalked all this up to the fact that I was working from 6 to 2 at one job and then from 3 to 11 at another job. So for me, it was just kind of like, you're working two jobs, you're not getting any sleep. Um, this is normal. This is a body's normal response to this kind of stressful situation I put myself in. And then November rolls in. So my period in October started on the 9th. I think that my period in November was scheduled to start around the 11th. And the 11th comes. I have PMS symptoms. Everything hurts. My boobs hurt. I'm hungry. I've got the munchies all the time. I'm tired. And for me, these are just normal PMS symptoms. I'm even having a little bit of cramping. Expecting to start my period. There was nothing. I was complete in complete shock for two days. And so that now we're at the 13th. I'm kind of starting to kind of freak out a little bit because my period was only two days late at this point. However, I have never been late before in my life, maybe once. And I think that was because I messed up on my calendar. So the fact that I was late at all was just like automatically a red flag. And then the 15th comes and that's the day of my ultrasound to see if I have endometriosis. So I get there and I still haven't started my period. I was kind of scared that I was going to start my period during the appointment, um, which would have been messy because it is a transvaginal ultrasound. So they take like a wand, it's like maybe this long, and they just like, totally cram it up there. <laughs> it's so vulgar. So I'm just hoping and praying that I don't start my period during the appointment. I get back there and I'm kind of starting to, I'm putting on the gown and the towels and she says, is there any reason that we would need to run your urine today? And I said, yes. She said, okay, what's wrong? I said, I'm four days late on my period. And she was like, that's not really, you know, that's not really a lot, four days. No, that's a lot for me. And she said, okay, well, um, go to the bathroom and then come back and we will do the ultrasound. Well, I couldn't go to the bathroom. I was so nervous. I had so many emotions going through my head. Um, couldn't pee. During the ultrasound, we could actually see that I should have. I had liquid in my bladder, except I just could not get it to come out. During the ultrasound, I'm so nervous. I'm really not wanting to have endometriosis. I just am not wanting to deal with it. Pretty much as soon as she like shoves that wand inside of me, she stops and she says, okay, yeah, there's your embryo. My what? Your embryo, it's like your baby. And you have an egg and then there's the yellow and then you have the white, this is the white part. My what? To this day, cannot describe how I felt. I'm 20 weeks pregnant. To this day, I cannot put this into words. I started shaking so bad. My legs were shaking. I was crying. There was so much shock happening. All I could think about was the fact that literally in September when I found out about my school, Keith and I talked about maybe trying to start trying to get pregnant around March because then the baby would be born at the perfect time, I would be starting my career and 
I finished with school. The fact that we discussed this and had this conversation less than a month before this appointment, I was just like, what the fuck? To this day, I'm like, what happened? She uh, measured me out and my that little embryo, my little, my little bean, was measuring at that point five weeks, which would put my date of conception during my period. I got pregnant on my fucking period. How? At first I was like, oh my gosh, the one time I don't use my birth control, I'm pregnant. Nope, I am, I got pregnant on my period and my due date is July 15th, which I would have been, if I was not pregnant, I would be on my period that week. So just goes to show that you can't get pregnant on your period. Be careful, kids. So she takes me, she cleans me up. I'm still like crying. Every part of my body is shaking. And she walks out and she lets me get back dressed. Like everyone <laughs> is like smiling at me like, ah, <laughs> and I'm like, uh, what <laughs> is going on? And I go into the exam room and I'm thinking the whole time, what am I gonna do? The first person that I texted was like half naked texting my cousin Lindsay. I don't know why I felt like I needed to tell her first. She lives in California, so the odds of her getting the message were very slim, but I was just like, I trusted her the most to not tell anybody until I was ready. However, right after I texted her, I did text my boyfriend because I felt like he needed to know. Lindsay, however, responded and was in probably in just about as much shock as I was in. Keith was, <laughs> Keith was in shock. I sent him a picture, I said, this is our baby. And he just said, oh shit, it's so tiny. <laughs> and that was all I got from him until later that night when he came home and we kind of talked a little bit. So I haven't even left the doctor's office yet. I've already cried. Um, at this point, I like am pretty sure that I was just so, like, not even scared. See, I can't. I just, I can't put my feelings into words at that point. It was just like white noise really is how I would describe it. Not upset, but not excited, but not angry, but confused? Confused is a word. Um, shook. <laughs> shook is, I guess, the word that I'm gonna go with. My OB comes in and she's like, what the hell happened? We just discussed your new birth control plan. How did you already ruin it? And I kind of told her what happened and she said, okay, so you know what your options are. What are you going to do? I'm pro-choice. So for me, I'm personally, my body, I'm anti-abortion, but if anybody else wants to get one, it's fine. Like I'm not saying abortions are bad, but for me, it was just like not an option. Get you in in two weeks and yeah. So after the appointment, I call my mom and she was supposed to come with me because I was, like I said, really nervous and scared about a potential endometriosis diagnosis and I was just not really sure how to handle it. She was supposed to come with me, but she got tied up at work. I called her and immediately, oh my God, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Do, well, do you have endometriosis? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Well, my baby kind of stole the show. What? I'm pregnant. Hang on, I'm pulling over. Say that again. I said I'm pregnant and she said, oh my god. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She said, I'm gonna call you later. I need wine. 
so I was like, okay, bye. I did have to go to work after this appointment. Um, it was a little interesting at work. And my mom comes in with my dad and they bring me flowers and my mom is just in shambles and she's, everything's going to be great. It's going to be fine. Like we can do this. I am very proud of you. I love you so much and I love Keith so much and you guys are going to be great parents and we're going to get through this all together and don't worry about anything. Do not worry. Don't stress out about anything. Everything's going to be fine. Which I wasn't, honestly, I wasn't very stressed out about it. I was just very <laughs> shook. I was just very shook. That was that. And then I went to the appointment, the two appointment we scheduled two weeks out. It was the week of Thanksgiving. So my mom's little sister was in town and she came with us to the appointment and it was just so amazing to see how much it grew and I could see its little heart palpitating on the screen and it was so beautiful. Um, at this point I am, I think I already said I'm 20 weeks pregnant. So everything's going, it's going okay. Um, but we'll talk about that later. This is, that's a, that's a whole, whole nother video. So yeah, that's how I found out I was pregnant. I went to the doctor to see if I had endometriosis. I didn't find out if I had endometriosis because my baby literally stole the show. It was all you could see on the screen was just embryo. <laughs> and uh, it was the most shocking moment of my life. My boyfriend was extremely shocked as well. And... It was just not something that we were expecting, obviously, because we, like I said, we had that conversation. Let's wait until March to get pregnant. And and then it just happened anyway. As of September, I was on my birth control. And I was using it normal, like normal. I was already pregnant when I was ovulating. And I just knew it. I pretty much knew I was pregnant from the point of conception just because I am so in tune with my body. And I woke up one day and it was like I had no idea what was going on with me. Yeah. So, yeah, that is the story of Baby Johnson. Um, just a disclaimer, a lot of my videos the upcoming months are going to be um, pregnancy involved. Revolved? Involved? I'm not sure what I'm trying to say. They're going to be about my pregnancy. So if that's not really something you're interested in hearing, sorry, but that's what you're going to get until forever. Thank you guys for watching this video. Comment if you have any questions. I would love to answer them. And if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like what you saw, don't dislike it. Please, you'll hurt my feelings. I'm emotional. It'll probably make me cry. If you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.